Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another reading of the Bible. We are back in 2 Kings chapter 9. We want to finish the rest of the chapter here. And we left off on verse uh, 17. So here's verse 17 again. There stood a watchman on the tower of Jezreel, and he spied the company of Yehu as he came and <clears throat> <clears throat> As he came, saying, uh, I see a company. And Yoram said, Take a horseman and send to me, send to meet them, and let them say, Is it peace? 18. So there was, so there went one on horseback to meet him, saying, Thus saith the king, Is it peace? Yea, who said, What hast thou to do with peace? Turn it behind me. And the watchman told, saying, The messenger came to them, but he cometh not again. Then he sent out a second on horseback, which came to them, and say, said, Thus saith the king, Is it peace? Thus uh, Yehu answered, What hast thou to do with peace? Turn thee behind me. The watchman told, saying, He came unto them, and cometh not again. And the driving is like the driving of Yehu the son of Nimshi, for he driveth furiously. Hmm. No footnote for the word dry, dry. Uh, Verse 21. Verse 21. Yoram said, Make ready. And the chariot was made ready. And Yoram, king of Israel, and Ahaziah, Ahaziah, king of Judah, went out, each in his chariot. And they went out against Yehu and met him in the portion of Naboth, the Jezreelite. It came to pass when Yoram saw, saw Yehu that he said, is it peace, Yehu? And he answered, What peace, so long as the whoredoms of thy mother, yet Jezebel, and her witchcrafts are so many? Yoram turned his hand and fled, and said to Ahaziah, There is treachery, O Ahaziah. Yehu drew a bow with his full strength and smote Yehoram between his arms, and the arrow went out at, went out at his heart. Ew, right in the chest. <clears throat> And he sunk down in his chariot. Then said Yehu to Bit Bitkar, his captain, Take up and cast him in the portion of the field of Naboth, the Jezreelite. For, rem for remember now how that, for remember how that when I and thou rode together after Ahab his father, the Lord laid his, this burden upon him. Surely I have seen yesterday the blood of Naboth and the blood of his son, say, say the Lord. And I will requite thee in this plat, say, say the Lord. Now therefore take and cast him into the plot of Rome, according to the river of the Lord. But when Ahaziah the king of Judah saw this, he fled by the way of the garden's, garden house. And Yehu followed after him, saying, Smite him also in the chariot. And they did so at the going up at Gur, G-U-R, Gur, which is by Ib Ibliam, I B L E A M, Ibliam, and he fell to Megiddo, we, we know that area, and died there. The servants carried him in the chariot, carried him, him as Ahaziah. Uh, his servants carried him in the chariot to Jerusalem and buried him in the sacrifice with his fathers in the city of David. In the eleventh year of Yoram, the son of Ahab began. The son of Ahab began Ahaziah to reign. Ahaziah began to reign in Ju over Judah. When Yehu was co was come to Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it, and she painted her face and tired her tired her head, and looked out at the window. As Yehu entered in at the gate, he sa she said, "Had Zimri peace, who slew his master." He lifted up his face to the window and saying, Who is on my side? And there looked out to him two or three eunuchs. He said, Throw her down. So they threw her down, and some of her blood was sprinkled on the wall and on the horses, and he trod her underfoot. When, when he was come in, he did eat and drink, and saying, Go see now this cursed woman and bury her, for she is a king's daughter. This is Jezebel. Bury the king's king's daughter. They went to bury her, but they found no more of her than the skull and the 
feet in the palm of her hands. Ooh. Wherefore they came again and told him, and he said, This is the word of the Lord, which he spake by his servant Elijah the, the Tishbite, saying, In the portion of Jez Jezreel shall dogs eat the flesh of Jezebel. Ugh. The, and the carcass of Jezreel shall be as dung upon the face of the field in the portion of Jezreel, so that they shall not see this is, so they shall not say this is Jezebel. Ugh. So that's the ending of chapter 9. I'll be back with more, further readings later. So this is chapter 9, the end of chapter 9, the death of Jezebel.